Welcome to the Designing the Row Squarespace store setup series. This is just one video of many where I teach you how to set up your Squarespace store from start to finish. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm also a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. So if you are looking for help building your Squarespace website, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a physical product to your store. Whether you're on 7.0 or 7.1, it's gonna be the exact same process. So you can see I've already added a listen necklace here. I'm gonna double click into this product. Whoops, maybe, there we go. And I just wanna show you what it's gonna look like filled out before we start from scratch. So when you add a product, this is what will pop up here, except it'll be blank. So you can see I've added in several photos. I've given it a title, a description, and a category. So that's what we're gonna focus on adding first in this video, and now I'm gonna walk you step by step through how to add all those things. So I'm gonna hit cancel on this, and to add a new product, all you have to do is click this plus button here, whether you're on a website that looks like this or this, that plus button is in the exact same spot. So I'm going to hit plus, and then I'm going to select physical product. And I am going to add a Music Biz Besties t-shirt. And then I'm going to drag and drop a couple images over here into the section. And let's pick another one. These are super small file sizes, so I'm not sure what's taking so long, but there we go. And then let's give it a description. Um, I'm just kind of making this up. <laughs> Okay, there's my pretend prescription description for right now. I recommend writing at least a couple sentences. And then I'm going to give it a category. So I set up accessories for the necklace. I'm gonna create a new category called shirts for this one. And this, uh, my store only has a couple products so it doesn't really matter. But if your store has multiple products, these categories will help your customers click through and filter so they only look at shirts so they only look at accessories or maybe you have music they only want to shop your music that's what those categories are going to help you do so that is the basics of adding a product to your store so get that far and then meet me back in the next video so just click that plus button add your images your title your description and your category and then i will see you in the next video and if you're wondering about why I'm leaving this pricing invariance blank, I will show you and explain that to you in the next video. If this video tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any further questions, you can leave them for me in the comments. And as this is a series, I will leave the next video for you right here. And don't forget that over at designingtherow.com, I have more tips and resources on how you can build and grow your online presence.